Mama Badger's having a bad hair day. <laughs> I've never. She's pretty frizzy today. All right, we're here. A biker's garage. They got some vendors out here. We're gonna go in and check this place out. People camping out here, it looks like. Got a couple of Airstreams. Let's go see what the rest of this place looks like. All right, let's go in and check this place out. Ready? Mama's leading us in. This. Look at all kinds of parts and pieces and pieces and parts. Let me guess. This is, don't tell me, don't tell me. Oh, wait, wait. It's. You're on camera. Eight. Okay. <laughs> so it's NG <laughs> and Cooper. Close. No, I'm Sonny the Badger. Sonny. Sonny, 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 Sonny. I'm changing my name. It's Cooper now, guys. Sonny. Anyway, it looks like they have all kinds of different parts and pieces. I'm just doing my daily video. A biker's garage. All kinds of parts and pieces. Absolutely, let's go. All right, hey, I'm Red. Red. Own the place. We nice had, to meet you. We uh, opened, we started forces in 2007 in Texas. Okay. And we are now uh, up here. Uh, we've been open about three months. Fantastic. Looks so like you got some parts supplied back here. Yep. So we've got yeah a lot of hard parts for uh, doing the routine maintenance. Cool. Uh, nice big shop. Yep. We uh, had a shop for 15 years in Texas. All the bikes we've ever worked on have been on these lifts. We brought those up. David's been with us. He's our senior Metro or Harley Tech. Uh, joined us about nine years ago. Awesome. And uh, we work on all major brands. This is Trenton, the general manager. Hi, Trenton. Trenton. So this is Sonny and and um, Angie he is in, inside. They have a influencer thing for motorcycles. They're here as part of the uh, BBB event. Trenton. So Trenton and David kind of laid out the whole thing in the sense of the lessons. I got gotcha. you. Shop. So overhead oil feeds, they put out all the, the uh, benches, lines, and all the pneumatic lines in. Gotcha. Set, over 70 of them, quick takes the nets around the place. All the oil delivery system set up. We went ahead and uh, had a space for bikes that are going to be here for a little while. I got it. Out the way. We work on Full them. inventory of tires. Yeah, yeah, well, there's about uh, 30 grand worth of tires sitting there. All right. And, uh, we've about to have one of the most dangerous times for a Harley Davidson or any big bike rider is getting a bike off of a off their trailer. Right. Rock, so we put a loading dock. Nice. So, so that you can actually unload get, easier. Yeah. Not not hurt yourself getting the bike out of the back of a pickup truck. Awesome. So and I started this business with Bob K. Bob was one of the principal founders of a bike or Biker's Choice. I got gotcha. you. So, I have Bob Kays was spent 40 years in the motorcycle industry. He's he's uh, in the Surgeons Hall of Fame. He'll be up here a little later with cool. uh, some of his bikes. We're gonna have a museum upstairs. All right. Uh, we'll have about a dozen bikes in there, and we also have our Silver Stream Lodging, where you stay in vintage Airstreams on the 11 acre property that we have. I saw those out there. Yeah. So then what we've got is uh, I'll show you some of the bikes out here that are gonna eventually be up in the Kay. museum. So we purpose built the building. The whole thing started from the ground up. Uh, these are three of our museum bikes. Okay. Um, Bob's 53. This is a panhead replica. Morning, ladies. And this, Bob K started Biker's Choice. Biker's Choice got acquired by Takaraki. Right. Which is one of the big distributors now turned 14. So when it got acquired, he had to go to Texas as running the business as it got integrated into the new company. His two partners moved on. He ran it for them. But Bob had been going to Sturgis for years and he met Jesse James up there. There's a whole deep story on that. Jesse made this bike specifically Bob K and Nimco. Um, first we're going to the kind of sportster style tanks. Right. Awesome. So our bike wash ladies here from uh, KC Motor, Babes, Babes. So, how are you? Okay. KC hey, Motor, Babes. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast going over here. 
So these are the three bikes we want to start with. Okay. Now we're going to... Alright guys, so this is going to be the museum up here. And they are, uh, as he put it, they're a non-denominational shop and museum. So they're going to have all kinds of different styles of bikes. And they work on all different styles of bikes. So whatever you got in this area, bring it here. They can take care of you. Mom's cool, really wanting to talk. Yeah, what's cool is like, this. there's nothing here right now. So I'm anxious to come back and see what this place looks like. Like paying around when it's empty. And then I'm sure we'll be back at some point. to like, Empty, empty, empty. But what it's going to look like. We'll get it filled up here. Yeah. Sooner it's or later. Cool. It's like the ground floor and stuff. I love that. So my camera's doing funky things. Like this black stripes going through it. I don't know if you guys will see it. We'll see when we uh, look it up later. And then we're up here on the on the deck. And uh Alright, so up here we came out of here. That's where the museum is. Then their lead tech lives here. And then this is an Airbnb. It's a really nice, really nice kitchen, living room, bedroom. And then they've got various trailers out here that they rent. So this is going to be a destination. I can't wait to come back next year and see how much it's changed because they're brand new here. But anyway, guys, if you're in the Rogers area, you want to come check this place out. It is quite the place. I think they're going to have like hot dogs and stuff later today too so come check them out if you're in the area they'll be here all weekend mama's doing her thing and we are here to give you a place to come to a destination you guys need to come check this place out there in rogers arkansas what street do you want we're at 325 north highway 62 127 turns away from eureka springs uh south of the traffic light in Avoca. So we're between the airport and the traffic light on the west side. Stop into our shop, we'd love to see it. And you can pick up some poo because Ooh. shit happens. <laughs> there you go, guys. Come pick up the poo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, come ask for your little poo. They'll give you one. All right, guys, we pulled in and somebody was super excited to see Mama Badger. <laughs> Not you, huh? Not me, <laughs> Mama Badger. He's like, Mama Badger's in the house. Anyway, what's your name? Patrick Swartz. All right, Patrick, and this is your first time setting up this little this little business, right? It is, it is. All right, so let's introduce you to the business. It's Creative Laser Labs. Looks like they do shot glasses, um, coasters, Route 66. That's pretty cool. I like that one as well. Um, looks like they have regular whiskey glasses here. That we custom engraved. Some tumblers, yep. And then uh, we got some, some keychains, or oh, even boards. For and your and for, for your these, chips. I will be doing on-site engraving of the back for initials for free. Uh, on-site engraving on those, and then he does all this engraving. And then the, I can engrave your name the day of. The name, your name the day of. Look at that. Anyway, and he's here at a biker's garage. So come out, check out a biker's garage, check out his booth, and uh, tell him the badger sent you. All right, so we made it over to Angie's friend Jesse. They're over there ordering food from the Hibachi Express food truck. We're here at City Pump Food Trucks and Libations, downtown Rogers, Arkansas. Pretty cool little place. We're gonna eat some lunch and hang out with Jesse for a little while. Then we'll continue our adventures for today. What'd you think of that biker's garage? That was a pretty cool freaking place. That'll be great for this area. They need a really good motorcycle shop. Now they have one that works on everything. Anywho, time for lunch. All right, lunch is done. We're right here in downtown Rogers. A tornado just went through here. Look at that building. Anyway, we're going to see if we can find the downtown festivities here in Rogers while we're here.
Eureka Springs. It's a Thursday and the parking lot's got people in here. We got vendors, Pig Daddy details in the house, two wheels down. You saw them last week when we were at uh, Lake of the Ozarks. They got the KC Motor Babes over there washing bikes. In fact, my bike's in line to get washed because it's horrible. So we'll get that washed up and uh, we'll go see who's playing music up here. I think. It's one of our favorites. Oh, there's trouble. Better go say hi. All right, so the first thing I did when I got to Switchback was I went to KC Motor Babe so they could knock off all the dirt on silver after a couple of months looking good ladies i'm glad i didn't have to clean it all right we got silver all cleaned up she's all shiny again i know it won't last long we'll take we take it while we got it check out the band it's gypsy outcast out of kansas city and they are one of our favorites when we're down here in eureka springs she can sing and play but we really enjoy her so if you're in the area you see that they're playing somewhere go check her out you won't regret it
right, y'all. That is a wrap for day one. I'm gonna go inside, hang out with the Switchback fam, and uh, start working on this video. So wish me luck, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for another full day here at the Switchback Bar. Come hang out with us.